Every government has its Secret Service branch. America, it's CIA. France, Desi M. Bureau. England, MI5. A messy job? Well, that's when they usually call on me or someone like me. Oh, yes. My name is Drake. John Drake. Drake, I'd like to see the chief of police. But he's in bed. Would you mind waking him? Uh, please? Ah, I'm sorry that I've had to disturb you at this hour, sir. So am I. Did you get the cable from Washington? Yes. Come in, Mr. Drake. Thank you very much. Well, nobody wakes me in the middle of the night to give me good news. What is it? Well, I've often read about your bandits, sir, a romantic uh, relic of the past. I don't find them romantic, Mr. Drake. Well, neither do I. One of our aircraft ditched over your south coast yesterday. The crew survived only to be shot at as they landed on your hospitable shores. Yes, the Morelli brothers, very unfortunate, but you shouldn't have traveled to come all the way from Washington. The hospital informs me that the wounded man's out of danger. Oh, yes, sir, but the, the mailbag, sir, what happened to the mailbag? Only the Morelli brothers know that. Well, perhaps you could arrange a meeting with them for me right away. I've been trying to arrange a meeting with the Morelli brothers for the past three years, up to now, without any success. I hope you realize what was among those mail sacks, sir, the United States diplomatic bag. Now, we're willing to pay, but we'd like to have it back immediately. I'll do my best to help you, Mr. Drake, but I haven't been to bed for 48 hours. All I want to do now is to get some sleep. I suggest you come to police headquarters first thing in the morning. No, sir, the matter is too urgent. Mr. Drake, the Morelli brothers are not on the telephone. They hide in the wildest parts of the island. We've been hunting them like animals for the last three years. Now, how do you suggest I entice them to a meeting? Now, well, I've been reading your local paper, sir. There's an article here about a girl called Lita, uh, something or other. It says that you're holding up a trial as an accomplice of the Morelli brothers. We picked her up in Palermo, trying to sell goods that they stole. Or perhaps she'd know their whereabouts. You think that we haven't thought of that? Well, could you not persuade her to lead me to them? I mean, she's got nothing to lose. And how are we to persuade her that you're not a police informant? Would you like to leave that to me? If you want to lull this girl's suspicions, I suggest that you visit her in the jail tomorrow morning at the normal hour. What kind of a girl is she? You're welcome to her. I'm obliged. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, sleep well. Who are you? My name is John Drake. Won't you sit down? What do you want? Well, why do you want to see me? I'm an attorney from New York. You have a brother there called Bartello. He heard about your trouble, wants to help. Bartello? He wouldn't cross the street to kick a dog. Why you come here and tell me these lies? Ebe, che guardi? Why you listen with your big ears? I'm speaking to my lawyer. Tell me more of your big lies. Now that he's not listening, it won't be necessary. Actually, I'm a businessman. A couple of days ago, an aircraft crashed into the sea off your south coast here. The crew managed to get ashore with the mailbags, but your friends, the Morelli brothers, held them up and robbed them. Ah, good, good, that's no, it's good. It's not so good because in one of those bags were some papers, business papers, very important, belonging to me. If I don't find them, I stand to lose a fortune. You are breaking my heart. Now, I am willing to pay a lot of money to the brothers just for those pieces of paper. But you must tell me how I can find them. I must tell you. Now I see what you are, a spy. A police spy. Nothing so romantic. I will pay you $1,000 if you can arrange a meeting. And get a bullet in the back when I get out? No. It's a trap. Supposing I got you out now, clean away, so that you could arrange the meeting yourself. You'd be certain it wasn't a trap, that uh, I wasn't being followed. How'd you get me out of here? With the help of my friend, Senior Didi. Lucky Didi. 
We have good connections. We have it all arranged for this afternoon when they take you into the court. You'll know the passage where the prisoners wait. Good. Now, when you get there, ask to go to the restroom. Didi has taken care of one of the bars in the left-hand window, the center bar. Pull hard, and it'll come out. I think you are a big liar. Do you? Oh, well, you'll find out this afternoon. Finish with my client now, thank you. Ah, you saw her? Yes, I saw her. So we wait to find out if your powers of persuasion are as great as you think they are. What time does she get to the court, sir? Three or four minutes. Oh, I better go and wait for her in the car. You know, Mr. Drake, as a race, we talk too much. Therefore, I thought it unwise to let every policeman in Sicily into our secret. You will never meet the Morelli brothers if they know that this escape was arranged. Of course not. Also, if the girl does decide to escape, don't forget that her photograph has been seen recently in every newspaper in the country. Keep her out of sight, or she'll end up right back in jail. Uh, don't worry, sir. I have it all uh, figured out. <laughs> the infallible Mr. Drake. But there's one situation that even you can't equate. What's that? The irrational temper of the Morelli brothers. If you should meet them, keep your eyes open. They'll kill you as soon as smile at you. I think I have an answer for that one, too, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. You find a change of clothes there. Eh? The police. They will block the roads. We never get out of town. Get in the back and change. Do everything I tell you, you'll be all right. You ready? No. I'm hurry. I come here. Why you dress me up like this? You want me to look a fool? Here, put these on. Grab <laughs> hold of this. 
like a tourist lady, huh? So nobody knows me. That's right. Where's the money? It'll be back to me. Ah, no. I don't take you to see the brothers without money. They want plenty of money. They'll get plenty of money. Let me see it. When I meet them. What about my thousand dollars? I want that now. Yeah, here's five hundred. You said a thousand. Oh, you'll get the rest when I met the brothers. Now, which way do I go? That's my business. All right, so it's your business. But I've got to know which way to drive. All right. Turn left. I mean, right. Ah, you stay here. All right, as you please. Don't you trust me? No. Yes, lady? Luigi. What are you doing here? I fixed the brake with Lucky Didi. Didi? He's a friend of mine. And the man in the car, what does he want? Who is he? He's an American millionaire. He's crazy about me. Now, what do you want to bring him here for? He wants to meet Giuseppe Ugo. Oh, Carlos, you're mad. At the back of the cave? Yes, I saw their signal last night. Good. Tell them we'll be there before sunset. That'll give them time to look around and make sure we're not followed. All right. But don't blame me if you're not welcome. What did he say? That's none of your business. We go straight on. All right. You don't have to tell me, you know. Where are you going? Well, I'll find some water. I'll make you have some coffee. Coffee? Yeah, coffee. Ah, uh, coffee. Hey. Look, it's Lita. Ugo! Ah. 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 What are you doing dressed up like this, huh? 
The police, I pulled them. I dressed up like a lady. You know, a policeman even stops me and says, Buongiorno, signora. <laughs> you think I'm clever? Uh, not so clever, or you wouldn't have been caught in the first place. How did you get out of jail? Lucky like Didi. He fixed it. Well, that old goat, what did you do to him, huh? Ah, uh, the American knows him. What does he want? He will pay you for the mail you stole. <laughs> How much, huh? Five thousand dollars. Does he have the money on him? He says so. What is it, Hugo? What's the matter? I... I, I burned the papers to make a signal to oh, Luigi. All of them? Uh, yeah, most, most of them. Why did you have to do that? Well, there was no money, no jewels, it was just paper. He's made a very good fire. The American, has he a gun? I don't know. Stay by the car. Hey, what are you going to do to him? Nothing. You just stay by the car in case there's any trouble, huh? Ah, you don't hurt him. Why? Do you care? Not if he makes them no trouble. Come on, Hugo. on the back of the car. I'm going to collect some wood and make a fire. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Ah, the Morelli brothers. So, you've, uh, you've come to do business with us, huh? That's right. <laughs> Lita told us about it. We have the papers. They're all safe. That's just fine. Now, the money. I have it, but not on me. Lita told us that... Now, why do you waste our time? Oh, I don't waste your time. I have the money. I have it, but not on me. Where is it? Well, you, could, uh, you could search for a year, and you'd never find it. And now, gentlemen, I suggest that we all go and look at the mail, and if the particular documents that I want are still there, we'll return, and I'll pay you. No, you stay here. I'll go and fetch the papers. I'll be back in two hours. Well, that suits me fine. Oh, incidentally, I'm not only interested in the documents in the leather satchel with the two seals. I thought I'd mention this and save you a journey. In case you burnt them. Oh, the papers in the letter bag? Yeah. They're still there. Delighted to hear it. And uh, why do you think we burn the papers, huh? Oh, I should have warned you, gentlemen, that I have supernatural powers. When I look into a man's eyes, I know what he's thinking. I see burnt papers. <laughs> oh, don't you take any notice of him, Giuseppe. He tried to fool you. you. You make a big guess, huh? Yes. I see a fire. Bright fire on a hill. A signal fire. You're making a signal. You're making a signal to L. I see an L. Luigi. You burnt the papers to make a signal to Luigi. <coughs> now, go and fetch the leather bag. I'll be waiting. Chicken, butter, peaches, <laughs> wine. Oh, no, don't believe him. You joke, huh? Well, come and have a look. Right. Oh. oh, it is good to have a rich friend, huh? We're we'll going to make some more coffee. You, uh, you think he's nice? Why did he give you the clothes? I told you. Pretty clothes for a dirty little peasant girl, huh? All you've got to do is 
clothes and money and nice. Oh, no, I mean, I. Dom. Oh, Search him. He has no gun. The American will fetch some money and we'll get out of here. Let me kill him. All right, but let him get the money first. Here are the papers, and now the $5,000, please. Come on. Stay here. Your choice, you know. Here, let me see that hand. Oh, it's only a scratch. You live. These belong to the lady, I think. Now back to the cart. Quickly, please. In you get, boys. Uh, 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 oh, no, dear me, no. I have a special apartment all reserved for you. This way, come on. One for you. One for you. Come on, now, don't be shy. Oh, uh, help yourselves with some chicken. You. Again? What happened to Mr. Drake? Come and see. I'm sorry to disturb you with this eye, sir. So you didn't get to see the Morelli brothers after all? Oh, yes, I got to see them, all right. There we are. Oh, not yet, boys. Next stop. There. Are 500, 1,000. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'll just run them down to the police station. Mr. Drake, how can I ever thank you enough? No time. I have a plane to catch. Oh, sir, I wonder if you could consider dropping your charges against this young lady. Oh, yes, I think so. I shall be needing her as a state witness. Thank you very much. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Give your lift. Come on.